a uh, collision castle it was called. Yeah, boy. I got I remember this one a lot. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hi, Amy. Hello, yeah, Amy. I don't care. Oh, hello. What? Oh, hi, Metal Sonic. I don't care. How you doing? Bye, Metal Sonic. <laughs> that was the best part about this level. The fact well, that Amy was taken. Yes, because we don't see her until the end of the game. Yay! I wish they did this more often. Yeah. I but, uh. Yeah, yeah, but. So, uh, I have I have yet to listen to uh, Collision Chaos's original soundtrack. Is it any good? Because I do like the. Um, the Japanese one's not that bad, to be honest. This one is very debatable. It's like, um, they're both good soundtracks and in their own rights. It's Why just... are we talking about a Japanese version of what? What the time so, Yeah, because... Oh, um, uh, uh, our um, annoying troll has returned. I was right, about a minute, until he said something annoying. What? <laughs> no, ch check me, call me, they they be like, I hear you a man now. Whatever. Um, yeah, no, it's the weirdest thing of mine ever. Well, yeah, I mean, it's Nick's birthday, after all. Yeah. I'm legally yeah. a upstanding member of society. That's terrifying. Yeah, that's debatable. But anyway... <laughs> yeah. What the time code? Uh, we were at about one minute twenty five seconds, but the only one thing I do like about it when they redid it is that they finally gave him the spin dash because in the original CD spin dash, you yeah, you actually had to wait to rev it up. Yeah, I love I love the fact that they gave it the spin dash. That's the thing. I know, but yeah. if you if it makes it a lot easier. Well, it, it is, yeah. but it it still it still makes me forget because uh, I played the original and PC where it had you had to rev up the spin dash, so I ended up using the figure eight move a lot more than the spin dash <laughs> on this version. Yeah, spin the figure eight is, is quite useful. Yeah, because the figure eight is good in its own right. Yeah, because isn't it like well, I guess I don't know how much, how long how how many how um, how far it goes, but if you do the figure eight, you're able to like burst through. The enemies for like a short amount of short a short amount of distance before you actually get hit. Yeah, you can, but the problem is if you're not going at the correct speed and you hit M and E or something, you're basically fucked. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Did you guys uh, when you were playing? Did you guys... Robot generator. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm gonna get most of them, but then after that, I'm probably just gonna stick to the time stones, which I'm gonna. Yeah. Uh, edit, I edited them out. Edited them out because it just it just got annoying. We doing so, all, all what, the yeah. time stones. Yeah. So does that mean you'll? Be, so does that mean you will or will not be penultimate Sonic? You, so time stones, uh, you don't turn super or any other uh, form whatsoever. Uh, okay. So can can I officially just say? So Tristan, is that the reason why you would have got a save of all the chaos emeralds? Uh yeah, I <laughs> rather I rather get the chaos emeralds than the time stones because the only thing the time stones do. Is ensure that you have a good future, whether you get the whether you get the, uh, break the machines or not. Oh, fair enough. Dang, that sounds all yeah. deep and philosophical. Don't you want to have a good future? Yeah, everyone wants to have a good future. Yeah. Which is, I think, well, well except for Nick. <laughs> My future involves a lot of angry axes and plastic forks. And fried chicken. Oh no, not fried chicken. Yeah, but I yes, still <laughs> But I still don't know why they why Sega uh, Sega of America. Oh god! What uh, this part? I hate I hate this bit. Uh, why? It's I can't remember this bit all workshop bench. So oh, you mean the, oh, you mean the second you mean the second part of uh, Zone yeah. of this one and then work bench work oh. bench where it just has oh, all it. it's just it just bounce you bounce all over the place. We'll we'll get to that. Yeah. But I didn't. I don't know. I I know I've seen some of the um some of the documentaries on Sonic the Hedgehog, which point to Sonic CD and Sonic Two, because Sega of America and Sega of Japan didn't meet eye eye to eye when they wanted to make the sequel. No, it, it's kind of weird because <laughs> Sonic Two and Sonic um Sonic CD are seen to be the most critically claimed. 2D Sonic games. Why? To be honest, I think number three is probably the best one at, 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 out of the out of these out of those two. To be honest. Shut up, you hipster. Everyone knows <laughs> no, that a good. Uh, is the it, 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 well, Nick, it, it, it is debatable because you know I... people because one of one of the one of the faults for um, for Sonic CD, even though it's a really great game, is that it was on a CD. 
and not a lot of people got the CD because it was expensive. Like, like at the time for the CD attachment, it was like 199 US dollars, which not a lot of not a lot of kids can have that kind of money in their pockets or in piggy. Yeah, no. yeah. And, and not to mention that most of the installments that were in it were pretty crappy. Yeah. yeah oh, although nowadays, freaking four year olds have iPads. To be fair, there's there's only two. I would say for the Sega CD, I would recommend there's only three good games, and that's be basically Sonic CD, um, the one the guy from Metal Gear Solid made. Snatcher. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And uh, you guys are probably going to kill me on this one, but um, just because of how bad it is, it's the equivalent of the room is Night Trap. Oh. <laughs> that's a cool classic, but I, I get what you're I... talking about. You would love it. You would love it. Basically, hey, here's another really bad cult classic, Corpse Killer. Oh. The, the acting is so bad. That you know. one vaguely rings a bell. Yeah. What, what, what was that one? That you, you played, you played, you played like this supermarine guy in a sewer, and you have to shoot all these little bugs. Uh, I think it's Sewer Shark. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. That's, that's uh, another one. That, that one's a horrible one. But, yeah. Uh, right now, I feel like y'all getting nostalgic. Well, yeah. well, it's, well, Sega was ahead of their time using CD-based technology. It was too young. Could, um, um, well, actually, that's not true, they, because um, didn't the TurboGrafx-16 do that first? Well, they basically Ain't nobody do that. have a TurboGrafx-16? They, they technically did that. It was just before the time, the CD... You know, technology was a little bit young for the thing because they said full motion video. Come on, do you see full motion? Yeah. Oh, one. But, um, I can, one of those. Can we play one game? I can we play one of those. Plumbers don't wear ties. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, that's for the 3DL. I, yeah, I know, but it's freaking, that's so like awesome. the borderline. Also, I want to see. I want to see Nick's reaction to it. Oh no, I've uh, seen the AVGN video on that. I know. Freaking, it There's... looks. It looks like the first visual novel. Yep. Yeah. Because point and click games were all the rage back then. Yeah, I'm and I also need to say this then. Hentai games. <sighs> Easy there, man. Oh, okay, then. This could represent it's... the internet. I, yeah, I yeah, pretty and, much and this is, And t- Nick, this is why Tom hated it, because that part was a precursor to Sonic Spinball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What are you talking about, Tom? Sonic, Sonic Spinball is amazing. Sonic Spinball, Sonic Spinball, Sonic I know. Spinball. It, this is the bit I hate as well. <laughs> you was, I think this is, yeah, this is the part I hate too. And I got, I think I got kind of frustrated because I hated the fucking springs. Yeah, this this game decides to be very, very dickish about when they put springs and spikes. Yeah, because there's a part, I think, oh, there's a part in one of the levels where there's a spring and the spring launches you right into a spike trap. Yeah, fun times. It's like a bounce. And also, I, I gotta say, this game does have the lamest, the lamest bosses, though. Yeah, they're really easy and real. Like, it's really hard not is to die this, unless you. Is this the, tr- is this the trackball run of one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fun. Yeah, it, oh, no. the Sonic Spinball one. Yep. This is... Oh, that's such a dick. I know, that's how you that. It does that. But yeah, this is basically a precursor. You get. A pinball boss. Yeah. Which, if you're not used to, if you're not used to the paddles, this don't last about five minutes. I that laughter is so creepy. Yeah. I I didn't like it when I, when I was a kid. I was just playing it. I only. I, I don't really mind it. I mean, I but then I, again, I'm used to pinball. I don't, I don't know. I, it's just that laugh. <laughs> I only played this when I went to, um, what's it, um, Sega World in the UK. Because they had this on display, this game, and I played it for quite a bit, for free. Oh wow, lucky you. Yeah, it's just, I know. That, it's just that laugh. No, I was afraid. Nick should be afraid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh 